Hi guys and welcome to Tech Based. In this video, we will talk about the latest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the Div channel, which is the build 25197. This is finally a bigger build for Microsoft with, uh, I would say, a lot of content. So make sure to get your snacks because we have a great one today. But before talking about this build and what is new, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the Tech Based channel with the notification bell activated because it helps me out and the channel a lot. So let's begin with the video. First of all, we have the new tablet optimized taskbar. The previous video on this channel, I showed you how to manually enable this. This was available as a hidden feature in the previous build for the dev channel, but now Microsoft is reintroducing this as a default feature, but of course only for some insiders. As I've said, if you have this enabled, you will have the new taskbar with rounded corners in the system tray area and also rounded corners for these icons, which actually looks really nice. And for the tablets, you will have some different effects with a different taskbar and different animations and so on. So you're going to have some screenshots of that also on the screen. But if you don't have this enabled automatically, of course, I'm going to leave you a link below in the description with the article in which I show you step by step how to manually enable this new tablet optimized taskbar. And of course, if you click on the taskbar and then click on taskbar settings, you will have on um, taskbar behaviors, this new option, optimized taskbar for touch interactions when this device is used as a tablet. And also when automatically have the taskbar is also selected, touch optimized taskbar will show instead. This option will only be available available if you have this enabled and of course this function will only work if you have a touchscreen capable monitor. We also have some system tray updates. So this update introduces updates to the system tray that affect all device types, not just two-in-one devices. With this change, users will see a rounded focus and hover treatment on all icons in the lower third due to continued modernization of this experience. So this is really nice. Well, got the Microsoft is finally tuning up and finishing up certain things that weren't hand in hand with with the Windows 11 experience, and that is also really nice. What Microsoft is also noticing us is that we won't be able to drag and drop or rearrange our system tray icons with this change, but they will let us do that in future builds, so that is also really nice. And also Microsoft is beginning to roll out this feature only to some insiders, but if I'm not mistaken, if you're enabling the new taskbar, you should also have this, so just try out the steps from the article below in the description. Another thing that I showed you previously how to manually enable were the animated icons and settings. So as you can see, we have new animated icons here and new animations. Actually, it is really, really nice. It looks really modern and Windows 11-like. And yet again, this is also enabled for a small number of insiders. But if you want to manually enable it, go ahead and check out the article in the description. You're going to have articles for a lot of features that were hidden features and now are default features, but are not enabled for all users. So you can just follow along those articles and you'll have them manually enabled. Regarding input, Microsoft is also making the small tweak that began rolling in build 25179 to improve the key repeat rate for the traditional touch keyboard layout as well as the default touch keyboard layout so it feels more responsive to all windows insiders in the dev channel now it has the rate of 20 keys per second for example when holding down the delete key and also in this build we have updates for two windows 11 apps the first app that will receive an update is the calculator app so we will have the version 112208 810. They basically added the native ARM64 support to calculator and also we will see faster and better performance when we use the app on ARM64 devices. Of course, if you want to get these new app updates, just open up the store in Windows 11 and then go in the left side and click on library and then click on get updates to get the latest Windows 11 updates for certain apps. Another app that is receiving an update is the media player app in Windows 11. So they basically added the ability to edit video files in ClipChamp with a new edit with with ClipChamp action available when you right-click a video in your library in the lower right corner of the video player UI under more options when playing a video file. So you have this here, if you click on it, ClipChamp will of course open or it will be installed if you don't have it installed already. You'll be able to edit the video with ClipChamp. Regarding changes and improvements in this build, that's it. But next up, we're gonna talk about fixes. So we have certain fixes regarding the system tray, for example. The taskbar should no longer flash because of changes in the system tray in non-tablet optimized scenarios. And they also fixed an issue that was causing parts of the taskbar or its icons like search to get stuck in the wrong themes colors when switching between light and dark themes. And also date and time should no longer 
longer get stuck cutting off on the side of the screen from system tray changes. Regarding the start menu, they fixed a crash that users were seeing when using start's recommended section. Regarding the file explorer, Microsoft fixed an issue leading to a small set of insiders with launch folder windows in a separate process not being able to launch file explorer in the last two flights due to an explorer.exe crash, and they also did some work to help improve the performance of deleting files via file explorer when emptying the recycle bin or using shift plus delete in the case where there are a large number of files being deleted at once. We also have some fixes regarding settings. Microsoft updated the design of the list displayed in the apps section, for example, and they also fixed an issue which could lead to settings crashing when removing devices. Regarding widgets, Microsoft fixed an issue which was making the weather icon in the taskbar draw too high and with no text in recent flights. Regarding windowing, clicking the title bar portion of a preview thumbnail in task view should now actually switch to that app instead of just closing task view. And they also fixed a sporadic explorer.exe crash which could happen when using all plus tab or task view. Regarding the task manager, we also have some fixes. So for example, the fix an issue impacting task manager reliability. And also if graphs have been hidden on the performance page, the circles used to identify each of the different sections should be less blurry now. We also have some other fixes, but I didn't think that they were that important. You can check out the whole list of fixes and also the known issues on this build in the article below in the description. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the tech base channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.